What is up, peeps? FW TV HD here, and I welcome you to a brand new video. Now, in this video, we are doing another FIFA 15 video. Now, I haven't, apart from the one I've done before, the FIFA 16 car design, I haven't actually done a gameplay FIFA video for a while on this channel, so I thought, you know what, let's do that. I've been playing it a lot more recently, so I thought, let's just do another video. And we're starting with a brand new series, which I like to call Squad Addicts. Now, as you can tell by what I'm doing right now on the screen, is actually selling a squad. Now, you're probably thinking, why are you selling a squad that I haven't even seen yet? Well, the point of this series, uh, as you can tell by the name, Squad Addict, is to literally uh, completely make new squads. Not every episode, but every time I feel like I want to make a new squad. And the reason why I've done this is because my general play on FIFA is I, I don't actually stick with one squad. I rarely ever stick with one squad. And when I do, it's for a maximum of 20 games. And trust me, I don't think you'll be seeing that in this uh, in this series either. So uh, maybe I'll do one to three episodes with the same squad, end up getting bored of it, and then just build a brand new squad. And I guess the bad thing is because every time I sell a player because of tax and stuff like that, if I haven't made profit, then I'm going to be losing money. I'm going to end up being poor. And I've only got about 100k to build squads in this account anyway. But I guess that helps in a way for me to find cheap players and also kind of stick at a certain level with you guys, the viewers who don't buy FIFA points or don't buy anything uh, to uh, or coins or anything to actually improve your squads. And you want to make some nice squads uh, that are fairly cheap. So uh, as you can see here, I was looking for a kind of squad to build around Jonas, the team of the season. He's a cheap player, uh, high rated with some decent stats. He definitely suits a very nice center forward position. Uh, not the fastest, but enough pace. A great dribbler and has a great shot. Again, not the strongest, but I'm sure he has decent balance, which allow, will allow him to uh, keep on the ball, even if he's being pushed pushed about and stuff. And uh, although this doesn't look much like a hybrid, uh, <laughs> actually, no, I can't even I can't counter to that. It doesn't look anything like a real hybrid. It's got it's just a Brazilian and Portuguese team with a few different players in there. But uh, I do soon later find out, checking on uh, FootWiz, which is the site I use, as well as Foothead. I use both of them, really. Checking on the sites to find out that, you know, these players are probably a bit too pricey. And uh, the Alex Texeria, I think his name is, uh, the team of the season is actually extinct. So I can't buy him, which was a big shame because I was really looking forward to trying him out. So I decided to just mix it up a bit. Still keep Jonas because I know I could buy him. Uh, and actually, it's quite luckily that I got him, actually. But... Um, just put a few new players in there. You see, I've got Jonas, uh, left wing Nani, who I, it, many would say is a cheap man. Though, you know, he's a left winger. He's got five star skills. He's Portuguese. He's got a decent shots. So you see where that's coming from. And I did manage to buy Jonas because he was literally just, just put on, up on the market and was the only one there. So I thought, let's just grab him while I can, just in case, just to save some time. Just build a team. You know, I really want to build a team. Uh, so using the money I sold players, I built this team, got Charisma on the right wing, so I've got two five-star skillers out wide. You can tell this is definitely not a crossing team, and I don't like crossing, that's not my style of play, I like passing, uh, dribbling. Mm, I'm not so much of a skiller, but skills uh, I definitely use every now and then if need be. So I just wanted to build that kind of team, but also have a nice solid uh, strength, and, uh, strong spine at the back, if you know what I mean. And that's why I got Yunus Kabul, he's someone who is a Tottenham player, and I am an Arsenal fan, so I'm not going to say... Too many great things about him, but it does pay me to say he is a good player, as well as Hugo Lloris. But I decided to build this team, and obviously I'm here applying some new cards and stuff. you got Sandro and Danilo in the back, two very solid left-back, right-backs. Then you've got the centre-backs of Koscielny, Kabul, uh, who are very, very good. Sandro, who a lot of people say is a decent player, and is actually very, very good for his price. So I decided to buy him as well, Brahimi, the inform. I did like his left-wing version, uh, so I thought, you know, why not get the inform as well and see if that plays good. And uh, yeah, I actually finished building the team, applied the instructions, of course, I've got the basic general instructions that I think everyone uses. If you want to know, let, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know. Uh, so that was the team, guys. If you want to pause the video uh, where I showed you the team, pause it and then go and build it yourself if you want. And then I decided to go into a single game just to test the team out before I go into any tournaments or anything like that. And this is the squad we come up against. So I knew I had a hard game coming up. So if, you, if you've got Neymar, uh, Suarez and Robin up front then you're going to have a hard game, you know? So it's starting off with the game. Suarez is going through here. He doesn't know anywhere to go, so he goes, fuck it, take a shot. And Lloris makes a very comfortable save. And this game is very end-to-end, -end, I would tell you. It's a very long game as well, hence why we've only got one uh, video in this uh, episode. But there will be more videos, don't worry about that. I don't want you uh, to start thinking, oh, great, he's only going to do one game of video. But uh, the reason why I'm doing one game is because I did build... Uh, a squad in that whole thing that I had to speed it up and it took a while to do that so overall this recording took about an hour anyway Chris were going through with the skills and dispossessed <laughs> so 
it's just sometimes I do a bit, I go a bit crazy with skills and just completely ignore the fact that there's a better option. And it's just silly. Anyway, he comes through with a cross. Neymar decides to pass it for some reason. I'm not too sure why he does that. But anyway, trying to get on the counter. See if we can make anything happen. Jonas with a nice bit of skill there. Trying to get around. Trying to make some space. And he gets through. And uh, I make the stupid decision to turn left while sprinting. Which, okay, sprint dribbling can be OP. But if you don't have the space to do it, then don't do it, you know. And here we get our first shot of the game. Nani it is deflected, which is a big shame. Brahimi just gets his head to that. And so far, this team is looking pretty pretty nice. It's connecting pretty well. They're passing pretty nicely. And I'm actually liking the whole, you know, the whole system of this squad. And I, def I definitely like it. I don't know why I put that in, that uh, that corner. But um, I'm sure there's a reason. Jonas comes with a shot. Slips because it's raining. And it was saved <laughs> by Fairman. I think it was a team of the season. So I don't blame that. And we have a corner coming up. So I thought, you know what? Let's, let's go for this. Let's go for this. Smash it all the way to Alex uh, Sandro. Give it to, um, is that Sandro? Yeah, it's Sandro. I actually thought it was Danilo that I was giving it to because I knew he had a decent long, so long shots. But it turned out to be Alexandro, so I was like, oh, crap. Try and give it to Sandro. Realize he hasn't got good long shots. Gets dispossessed. But we get back into the play here. Nani doing some skills. Trying to get through. And he, it's a bit, you know, back and forward. A bit of a scuffle. Scuffle? Is that a word? <laughs> going on. And I'm just dispossessing him. He's dispossessing me. This is pretty much what this game is like. I make it through Jonas. Go for a shot. And it is... Saved again by Patrick Fairman. <laughs> a very, very nice team to saw some goalkeeper. Go for the corner, Janot. Let's just cross it this time. And bang. Koscielny out of nowhere. I mean, of course, I did intend to give it to him, but I didn't expect a goal. He scores a goal and brings us 1-0 up. I think it's just before half time. And that's, that's such a nicely placed goal. Such a nice placed goal. But anyway, Brahimi's on the ball here, doing some bit of skills. I like Brahimi. He's a very nice dribbler, and I told you that's why I liked him. I wanted to try him out because of his left wing card. Getting, getting through, just slowly getting through. Very beautiful. And just the finish. The finish wasn't there. It's such a shame. Robin goes straight on the counter, I think. And it, look at it. He's just running. He's just constantly running. Doesn't, doesn't even try and get around. He just runs. And then he gets a bit of luck, finds a bit of space. And because it's Robin, gets on his left foot and just tucks it in. I think Laurie should have done better there, but... I mean, come on, it is Robin. Anyway, getting into the second half now. 1-1. One, one. I forgot to show you the, the stats, and I'm sorry about that. I should have shown you the stats, but I think I was like 53% possession. So it was a bit of an equal game. And as something you can tell, this game was very back, uh, back forward, back forward, back forward, end to end, end to end. And uh, it was a very frustrating game. There was no real midfield battle. It was defend, attack. Uh, so I do get a free kick, and I thought, you know what? Give it to Jonas. Look at those stats. 89, 89, 99, 89 on all of the stats in the free kicks. And I'm like, okay, let's go for this. And I did that. That was a cross. That wasn't a shot. Now, I decided to switch the buttons because my controller started acting up and my B button was a bit weird. So I thought, okay, let's just switch to X to shoot. And it, I, I, I just haven't gotten used to it yet. Jonas misses a shot there. I haven't gotten used to it. And that's a big shame because I, I, I probably, I would say I would have scored that. But given the power I put on that, and I did hold L1, I probably would have gotten close. And I have practiced a lot on those free kicks. And it's a shame that I decided to cross instead of shoot. That's a problem I'm going to have to get over. But anyway, Jonas is getting through the whole team here. But I can't, I can't find space. I'm like, what do I do? So I try to go for a fake shot. Get out of the way of Neymar's way. And he just wins the ball. I don't know why he's got Neymar there. I don't know. Throughout this whole game, a lot of his attackers are defending for some reason. I don't know if he's got part of the bus. Uh, but it didn't seem like that. It seemed like he just had basic. He had his uh, attackers up front when they need be. And this is just dodgy. I mean, <laughs> that tackle completely tackled Robin. And then Suarez just takes it off from right away. Lucky save from uh, Hugo Lloris. So a very, very good goalkeeper, actually. My first time trying him in FIFA because I'm an Arsenal fan. And, you know, he's a Spurs player. And I'm a bit biased, so I'm probably not going to try him out. But anyway, Nani going for some skills. Again, I go for a bit too much, and it's something I need to die down on, focus more on the game, my open spaces. Brahimi coming in again with some more skills. I'm trying to find some space, and there's better players I could have given it to, but Sandro comes up, takes a shot, and he's not an attacker. He's not great at long shots. He's not getting anything like that. But throughout the rest of the game, it's just end-to-end -end play. As you can see, I fast-forwarded it here. And it's all passing, maybe a couple shots, but nothing really spectacular. It's end-to-end. -end. Look, he sprints with Robin. He did that a lot, actually, just just sprint and run. But it's passing, tackling, passing, tackling, passing, tackling, all the way until the 90th minute, which is a big shame because I did want to finish this game and get into another one, but it, it, it just didn't happen, you know? So it eventually goes into extra time. Nothing happens. And, uh, yeah, if that would like to happen now, please. <laughs> uh, he did get a chance there. And uh, oh, there we go. Extra time. Yay! My players are exhausted, and we have to go back into... Some more gameplay. And starting off five minutes in, he nearly scores. 
And Lloris makes a spectacular save with his leg. So I'm quite happy about that. And he gets a corner. I think, okay, let's just, let's just defend this. He's trying to do the Nepenthes glitch here, as you can tell. And it works. Um, I, I didn't expect that, especially from Robin. I mean, from all people who he could have given it to, Robin. I mean, look at the replay. It was just, he was in front of them. None of my players was able to get to the ball, and he scores a goal. <sighs> so, do you know what? I went, fuck it. Let's just go for it. Uh, okay, no, okay, okay, no. Oh, wait, we have a chance now. Come on, go for it, go for it. Passing back, just keep the ball. Try a bit of skills. Try and get through, at least get a goal. Just go straight for the attack. Come on, you need to get this goal. And Karezma pops up, and there we go. We get... A goal back straight away. A few little hiccups going on in that gameplay. And we do get a goal. And I thought, okay, this is time to shine. Uh, a few minutes later, we do get a goal, a goal kick. And from that, I give it to Brahimi. Beautiful pass straight to a Jonas who decides to pass to Charisma. And again, we got another goal. Charisma just pops out. Pops up. Pops up out of nowhere. And I'm like, what? Where's this coming from? But that's how you score a goal from a, a goal from a goal kick, eh? From your end, man. That was a pretty... Pretty damn good goal, straight from end to end, scores a goal. Uh, missed another shot with Carreza that could have gone in. And he done something stupid with his goalkeeper, gave straight to Bohemian. There was no one in the center there. And you know what? He's going to pay the price. I tried giving it to Carreza. Somehow tried going for Nani, but that was a bit weird. And then it ends up going to Carreza anyway, and bang, another goal. So I thought, okay, 4-2. This is great. <laughs> Carreza scores a hat trick. He just comes out of nowhere. That through ball was a bit lucky, I'm, I'm going to say. I mean, I didn't exactly mean it to go out that way, but very lucky. And it doesn't stop there. We're at the very, very, very last few minutes of the game. Jonas on the ball. I'm looking for someone to pass to. You know, both players are marks. I'm like, ah, do you know what? Let's, let's just go through. Takes a shot. It's saved. And uh, uh, he gives it to Rakitic. And you would kick it out. You'd think the game's over and kick it out. But he decides to just run with it. And I do get the ball again. Decide to give it to Jonas. Think, okay, this is nice and easy. And Muller decides to save it. Not from the line, but he decided to become the goalkeeper. And that's where it ended. So now in the next episode, I'll be going into tournaments and stuff and doing stuff like that. If you do like this video, please smash that like button if you did. It really helps a lot. Uh, it lets me know you want to see more of this. So this has been HD. Thanks for watching and peace.